You know, Cleveland has always been home to so many different cultures, and One World Day is how we celebrate all of them. Nadine Abuisada has been at the 76th Annual One World Day celebration all morning long. There are events, performances, lots of food, music scheduled throughout the day. Nadine, what are you getting into now? It's a great way to experience other cultures. I was just about to say, Homo, we keep saying, why use your passport to get on a flight when you can go right in your backyard and get a taste of the world? I'm standing here with Dr. Wall, who is the president of the Culture Gardens. How are we doing today? Fine, thank you, thank you. It's a great day today. It really is a great day. Now, we've been talking, and there's one thing I can tell you guys. He loves these culture gardens. You have lots of passion. Talk to me about how unique they are when you're talking about the entire world. This collection of culture gardens is truly unique in the whole world, not only in the United States because it celebrates the cultural figures from the history of so many nations. We have 80 busts of notables from all over the world in this space. We have 35 gardens now and three, 10 more are in the work. We want to open this to more communities, to more ethnic groups to be represented from all the continents of the world. So it's very unique. There is no collection like this in the whole world. And then talk to me about how a day like this, like you, you can come any day of the week and see the gardens, but today you find people there who can tell you about that culture and the food. Talk to me about today in specific. This is a celebration of all the cultures in the world today. So every community will have functions in their gardens from dance to music to food. And then they collectively walk in the parade of flags parade of the nations. This is a very uh, colorful event that all the communities line up behind their flags and uh, showcase their, their background and their festivities and their celebration. It's a great for the mosaic of Cleveland to be nurtured and nourished by this flavor of uh, international communities here Perfect. among us. Now, obviously, when you look at e e all of these gardens, they're years in the making. You've been very instrumental in specifically where we're standing here. Talk to me. Where are we? What is this? What's happening here? The, uh, we wanted to have a gathering space uh, in, the, in the gardens area, and we thought that this would be the best way to have a stage, outdoor stage space that can be celebrated with many people of the world. So we want a gathering place for people of the world. And this idea came about six, seven years ago uh, uh, to have a Centennial Peace Plaza. It coincided with the centennial event of the Federation. And we were able to do it on time and on budget. And we, we have been doing a lot of cultural activities here in the summertime. This is our second season on weekends. We have beautiful collection of international music and dance. And we want the people of Cleveland to come and celebrate with us and enjoy this, this space. Perfect. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you heard him come out and celebrate us. And I, wanted to, I want to point something out to you guys. Read at the top. It says, peace through mutual understanding. Though you have all these different gardens, though you have all these different cultures, the whole point is at the end of the day for everyone to come together to learn about the different cultures. And as it, it says, peace through mutual understanding. So beautiful. Again, thank you thank so you. much, Doctor. Thank you guys. very much. Festivities start at 11 today. Noon is when the party is officially set to go. But remember, if you're coming, you can't park in this area. You're gonna have to park and walk down to MLK. Homa, I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling all the love out here with all these different cultures.